In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate and streamline your YouTube creation, production, and distribution process, including how to repurpose your YouTube videos into vertical videos for YouTube Shorts and TikTok and Instagram Reels. And I'm going to show you the same automation system that I built out in Airtable that allows me to store all my content with a unique ID and direct access to the copy, the images, and the media that uses Zapier to automate a bunch of different processes with video and frame.io and auto publishing tools like Metricool so that you can build out your own custom system. So again, in this video, I'm going to show you end to end the workflow for publishing a YouTube video. So as always, I'm going to start in the ideation phase here. We've already got a couple of YouTube videos that we have on the idea list. I'm going to add one more just to go through the entire process. We got the YouTube video demo A to Z. I'm going to give it the personal brand number one. In this case, I'm going to leave the publish and the recording date blank, and then I'll move this to test idea. And just so we have another one there, I'm going to move another one there as well. And now we have a couple of ideas over here, and we have had some other videos that we've used for testing as well. So I'm just going to leave those so we can see what it looks like when there's multiple videos in the system. So now in the test idea phase, we have a couple of different ideas. Remember the test idea column is where you and your team can meet on the content day and really decide what is the next best video out of all of the good candidates. So I'm going to go ahead and move forward with C40. This is the one we came up with in the ideation view. Now here, I'm just going to go ahead and update publishing and recording date. I'm going to customize the fields here. You can order how the fields show up. So I can come in here and you see the publish date is now easier to access. So I'm gonna also find the recording date. It's right there, move that to the top, with publish. Now when I enter the card, it's just right here. So I'll put a publish date of 24th and the record date will do on the 22nd. And then we'll go ahead and move it to thumbnail creation. So at this point, that automation is going to run. Now that the automation is run, we can jump over to inbox and we're gonna see that this YouTube video is not here because we put in a publish date. We know the workflow and we know the publish date. So so it skipped that. So if we jump over to media, we have the YouTube video demo A to Z that's sitting here. It's not currently assigned to a video editor because we haven't recorded it yet, but we are looking to get that artwork done. So if we jump over to artwork, we're going to see that video YouTube video demo A to Z. So we can go ahead and put image status is in progress and we can assign it to a designer. Then if I jump over to Slack, we can see that the designer, I'm acting as the designer, will get a notification. The image is ready for editing. So now the designer is going to have this row in their view. So again, if we click on this link, it's going to take us to the designer's view. From here, they can open up frame.io and then they can upload the thumbnail to this folder and they're going to want to include C40 so that it is associated with the actual YouTube video that we are editing. So I'm going to go ahead and upload a thumbnail image here. You can see I have the title in there, C40. Frame.io will process images fairly quickly and then that will trigger the automation. You can see that it's getting updated now. It's going to bring in that image thumbnail and it also moved the status to review. So now if we jump back over to the YouTube workflow, we are going to see C40 now also has this thumbnail. But now let's say you review this, you open it up in frame.io and you're not happy with it. You can just say redo, let's get a whole different concept in here. And then you can send it back to the designer, in which case they are going to get another notification here in their Slack channel. And then the designer could open up frame.io and they could see our feedback for redoing the thumbnail. They could jump back to the project. They could upload a new version. And then of course they can create the stack here just to make sure we clean up the space. And then we can also view those two versions side by side. But back in the system, this is getting updated. C40 is getting the new thumbnail and it moved it back to review. And then at this point, if you were satisfied with the image, you could go ahead and say done and then we could move forward with the production workflow. We can go back to YouTube. We're going to see that that updated thumbnail is following this card now. And then we could move to the scripting phase. Now, of course, whoever is scripting can open up the script and then they could fill this out. They could put in their hook and then the contents of the script and they could move that forward to record. Now what's going to happen is whoever is doing the recording will come in and they will access the script and they will get ready for recording and then they will record that event on whatever camera it is. It could be multiple videos. It could just be one video. And when they are done, they're going to come to original assets, open up this folder and then upload all of the raw videos for that YouTube video. So in this case, I recorded the YouTube video in one long take. So I'm uploading that single MP4 to Google Drive. 
and then come back here and move the card to edit. And then from here, I can go over to media and then actually assign this video to an editor. And as always, I'm going to get that notification. I'm acting as the editor for this example. Now as the editor, I can come in here and I can open up all the original assets. I can download these and then do all the final rendering. And then I can also open up my personal view so that I can access frame.io. And I'm gonna be uploading the video for C40. So I can open up frame. Now I see the thumbnail is here. Now I have to upload the video. So I'm gonna come over here and update the final rendered video to C40 because I need to have it match up with that row. We can go ahead and upload this. This is gonna take just a second for it to process. Remember until this fully processes where it says all this information, it just hasn't triggered the Zapier process. And so you just have to be patient for this to process before you can move forward with the actual automation. And now that this is done processing here, you're going to see that the automation gets updated in Airtable. So we'll see this row here, C40 get updated with the new video. And here comes in the new video. We're also going to see a thumbnail. It's in review now. And then we also have access to frame.io directly to that video we just uploaded. It's right here. So now, of course, you could come over here and make any edits. You can watch this. And if you need to, you can send this back to the editor. We've already gone through these notifications in a couple different ways. So I'm going to skip going back and forth on that right now. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and say the editing is done. So now we can move back to the production workflow. Now, in this case, we can move this video to repurpose. We can assign this back to our editor and our editor can start making clips. They'll be able to see this production workflow here, repurpose pick clips. So they should know that this is something that they still need to work on. Again, they'll get a notification that a video is ready for repurposing. And then the video editor can take all of the original assets. They can access all of that as well. They can go back to the original assets. They can make more videos. They can make promos. And when they are done with those, they can come back into frame.io. And now they can drop all of those videos that they created directly into this folder. And they'll be children of the main C40 YouTube video. So let's say we were able to pull four vertical clips and repurpose those. We can just drag those vertical videos into the frame.io folder for this YouTube video. Then each of these will be processed by frame.io. Now that these are processed, the Airtable and Zapier system is going to process these. And notice that we didn't put CIDs with these videos like we did these because we already knew we needed a thumbnail. We know we needed the YouTube video. So we already had a bucket for it ready, the C40 bucket, but we never know exactly how many vertical videos are going to come off a YouTube video. If it's a five minute video, you might get one or two. If it's a 50 minute YouTube video, you might get 10. We don't have a CID. And so now what will happen is the system has imported those into the inbox. And so we see those four videos are now here and then we can schedule them as you would. I'll go ahead and schedule one just to complete the entire workflow. Actually, let's just go through all of them. But these are all vertical videos. We'll just schedule each of these on subsequent days. So that's good. So now all we have to do is finish the editing status for those vertical videos and then the main YouTube video. So jump back over to media or we can take the look from the overview and we can just get a sense of all the different videos that we have coming in. So you can see we have quite a few vertical videos that need to be scheduled and we also need to work on the copy, the video and the title for each of them. For this example, I'm just going to focus in on this YouTube video. You would continue to schedule out the rest of these videos and get approval through frame.io as we've done in all the previous videos, giving feedback, providing comments, and then adjusting the status back and forth with your editor. Again, we'll trigger all the notifications, but let's just move forward with just the YouTube video for the sake of time. So now the YouTube video looks like we still need a description and the video. So you probably wouldn't be doing this one by one. You would have probably come in and assigned the media, the image and the copy all at once, but we can come in here to the copy and make sure that that is assigned to the copy editor it needs to be in progress, send it to the copy editor. And of course it's going to trigger a Slack notification. And there it is. The editor can open up the copy and finish the copy, but you might have links or other calls to action to your social medias or maybe a promotion, but it's going to detail what's in the YouTube video. It'll get moved to review and then you can review it. And then as always, you can move it back to in progress and work with your copy editor to refine it and make sure everything is done. But we'll go ahead and assume it's done. And then we just need to title that YouTube video so we can come into the title section and we can come here, we can put the title in and then we can go ahead and move done. Now everything about this YouTube video is done and it's going to show up in the publishing section. So we can take a look at the calendar and we're going to see it's ready to go out on the 24th. We can take a look at this view as well. Looks like it's here on the 24th and everything is ready to go. And then finally, when it comes time for the 24th, you will see it in the today view and then you can go ahead and publish it. Let's just do that now. We'll move it to the 20th just so it shows up there. And now we have C40 here. And again, you can clear it out just by hitting the publish button or you can actually put the URL of the YouTube video here. So if this was the video we just published, we could grab this URL and then just simply paste it into the published URL field and then we would be done. And then don't forget that 
you would come back to your production workflow in your weekly meeting and you would just finalize the status together as a team. Since we've already picked and edited the clips, you could go ahead and move that to done. And then as a team, you could do a sanity check. You might also just take a look at the videos that are outstanding just to make sure that everything is getting done, making sure that these videos are getting done. And then once all of these are published, then you can move it to close. And then that ends the complete end to end production of a YouTube video. So as always, I hope you found that video valuable. If you want to install a system just like this into your business in just the next couple of days and skip the process of trying to build out your own customized system, make sure to check out the link in the description. It'll take you to another page that'll describe a bit more about the content engine database program, which will help you put this system into your business in just a couple of days and help you get you and your team up and running. Check the link in the description below. And if you have any questions, make sure to reach out and let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.